Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we have a special guest all the way from Ireland, Mr. Unit, Carol Devaney. So how are you today? I'm good, good. And I'm just a super fan, I just showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just came out just so it could be on this video. But yeah, the time for today, we are meant to be doing some shearing, but we had some of this stuff called rain today. So you come all the way from Ireland, he's bought it specially with him, we asked for him to bring it with him and we've had about 25 mil of rain. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need it, but maybe not so good for shearing. So the plan for this morning, what we're doing, we're getting some fat lambs in which go there. We're going to do a draw of them. Fingers crossed the sun's going to go out. To fair, it has just gone a bit warmer, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And we're going to do some shearing this afternoon. So that's the plan for today. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget, tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Right, if by magic that is all the fat lamb soiled, we've picked seven out for Nigel, which leaves about 32 left in there. What did you think of the clean lambs then compared oh, to. They're good. They're yeah, all yeah, right? Yeah, the ones that are ready for a weigh are definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah. Probably for our. The way ours would be a wee bit smaller, mountain sheep, I would have probably brought more of them, like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I suppose the butcher is a different story compared to the factory. Yeah, it's, I suppose you'll take 40 at a time, where we're yeah. lucky and we can take six or seven. But yeah, we are packed up, ready to go, and fingers crossed, next time you see us, we'll be doing some shearing, but you never know. It is starting to warm up a bit, but it's quite close. So hopefully it's drying weather and we get some lamb shorn. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Maybe I'll leave the country again and the sun might come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you go that way, you know, might just sun might come out. It's following you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, miracles do actually happen because the sun is out. The sheep are actually out. Oh. Yeah, we'll forget about that. There's a there's a shearing setup already to go. In front of you, there's a massive mess there. <laughs> but yeah, ready to go. Carol's ready. I'm not gonna wait any longer because we don't want to wait. Sunshine it's, holiday. Yeah, it's sunny, so Ooh. we're not wasting time. Let's go. Righto, so we are well underway with shearing now. Carol is absolutely smashing it. We've already done about 30 of the ewe lambs. So some of you might be wondering why we are actually shearing ewe lambs today because you would normally just shear the ewes. So basically the reason we're doing this today, guys, is it helps with growth rates as well as in the winter, they get really, really woolly. And usually on the outside of the fields, it tends to be hedges and stuff and ewe lambs especially get stuck in them so there's two reasons really it helps them because it stops them from getting stuck in stuff as well it really improves the growth rates as they're a bit cooler and they want to eat a little bit more whereas if they're warm they don't need as much energy to keep growing so that kind of tends up while we're doing but we'll crack on as I said before Carol is absolutely smashing it and they're shearing really well and they're looking really smart if you can see any across the field there but yeah well I'll chat with Carol as he gets into it but I'm not going to distract him too much while he's actually shearing and I'm getting behind so I need to actually get a lamb ready for him.
Right, so just while we have a break, well, say, just while Carol has a break, we'll have a little bit of a chat about where he's from and more about him because we haven't really actually introduced yet. So you've come all the way from Ireland, whereabouts? Better than ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whereabouts in Ireland are you from and what kind of stuff do you get up to at home? So I'm from Sligo in the northwest of Ireland and I'm a sheep shearer, go figure, and a sheep farmer as well. We've got hill sheep on the mountain. So um, it's good to see uh, Will's channel and see lowland sheep and see something different yeah. where you, re you really think about what you're doing and stuff is technical. So it's a lot less technical with us, it's just, yeah. but like they're just out the hill and we uh, less work with them. You bring them in every couple of yeah. months or so, but they're good fun in its own way. And they're all blackies, aren't they? So you're right. Yeah. 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 Mm. So they're horn sheep, which basically just designed for up on the hills where the clins are kind of hardy lowland sheep. They're, you might find some in the low uplands but not too many i don't know if they'd survive up in your mountains to be fair mm. yeah, that's, um, they might work it in the summer but it's january february march will be the, yeah. the worst thing when they're rearing a the lamb horses for courses like yeah that. well that's it you are, everyone has different sheep for different purposes not one sheep is going to suit everywhere and that's what not everyone understands you can't put texels on the top of a mountain and stuff like that it just doesn't work do you want to tell us a bit more about your channel and what you do on top of because you haven't heard carol has a clothing brand so unit right here and i had the hoodie on earlier i was just getting a little bit warm on top of that you got a podcast and a youtube channel so i'll put the link in the description and here do you want to tell us a bit more of what you do on there cheers yeah i was just looking at these boys looking like they're uh, easily just waltzing around their farm with no effort uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just lulls you into feeling that you can all start youtube well that'll be easy it's far from easy but it's good it's pretty rewarding though I'm um, sure look like, a, like the, the networking that you have. Oh uh, yeah, totally. Coming over, going, coming over on a, hol yeah. a week's holidays and um, linking up with the likes of Will and a couple of people in Scotland and going up to as well. Going to have a great holiday hopefully for a week. And um, yeah, the people you meet, um, getting yourself out there in the industry and then potentially building a side business and um, making a living from farming yeah. and diversifying a wee bit. I guess well, yeah, yeah, yeah I do you know? most. Yeah. I'd class the YouTube and the podcast and the clothes. Obviously, the clothes are your big thing. It's a diversification on the farm these mm. days. It's something to get people more interested on the farm. Mm. And also, your channel is really interesting because it's on a hill farm up in the mountains. Completely different to what we do here yeah. and completely different to other sheep Very channels. Very chaotic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's fun. Makes for good content. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, definitely, <laughs> definitely check his channel out. Yeah. And uh, you have a shot at the end of all the sheep, Sean, but he's doing a cracking job and i just got to say thank you for coming over and doing this on, oh, your, hol on your holiday too. It's definitely the furthest I've come to share a bunch of sheep. It's <laughs> a 2,000 mile lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well worth it. Cool. I'll, I'll leave you to do your comb and we'll crack on because we haven't got too many left. Right, so Carol has now done about 50, is that about right? Sorry about that anyway. And I'm actually going to have a go. So I've only ever shown one or two sheep in my life just to pre warn you so i have no idea oh, what yeah, i'm doing done one or two more than that. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that. <laughs> i start here yeah and go down there yeah so, and this is where i soon realized that shearers make it look far easier than it actually is to put into perspective it took me 12 minutes to just shear one lamb and it took carol less than one minute Come on, Will, it'll soon be dark. <laughs> Clean up around the chin in the next row. Yep. You're an asshole. Keep it on the skin now. Yeah. <laughs> Get under that wall, get under that. All that bit. Yeah. Right back to the back seat. She's another yeah. bit back there, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're fucking good. Well, after about an hour, <laughs> got it done. It's not too bad. No. I thought it'd be a lot worse. Well, you did help ever so slight. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you go because you had enough trauma, girl. Sure Better get going, I've got a few to do yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the rest apparently. <laughs> we'll be here till about five o'clock on Wednesday next week. <laughs> I 
Only three left to go now, plus the one that is shearing. But look who has come to visit, the one, the only, Mrs. Cowley Hill. <laughs> How are you? Fine. You come dog training. Where is she? Pull her to prove how good you are. Can you not hear me? Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, we've somehow beaten the rain. It was meant to be thunderstorms all afternoon. We chanced it, went, got going, and it may be about to rain, so it's going fairly dark now, isn't it? But yeah, final, you, um, you're a beef block, a nice little one to finish on. That's the easiest one of the day. <laughs> All the farmers at home say, that's the one you're looking for. <laughs> but uh, I have to go to the next farm. I won't see that one for probably <laughs> Christmas Eve. Righto guys, so we have skipped forward a couple of days and we've done a farm tour. We've just finished off here down at the U's with Carol. Got a so, sore head. Yeah, I got a sore <laughs> head after a few drinks, but it's been a cracking few days. And once again, a massive thank you for coming over to share the sheep. Obviously, it wasn't the only reason you came out. You're on holiday, mm. so and I hope you found it interesting. You Brilliant. might actually... got treated like a king too. I've definitely <laughs> put on a nice bit of weight since I came <laughs> Yeah, we've eaten and drank well. Oh, I'll just put it that way. Um, yeah, thank you for coming. The sheep, hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at them too and found it interesting. It's it's and, I, and I haven't bored you too much with technical Absolutely stuff. Absolutely not, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very different from the way we farm, but um, it, it's really good to see how the other side lives and I'll, I'll be taking some tips to bring home, like, both for my YouTube channel and for sheep, you know, it's great. Well, it's nice to just yeah. chat to other people doing the same thing. And mm. obviously guys, if you haven't already, don't forget, check out Unit, check out his channel, the clothes, everything. I've got a singlet on now, I've actually kindly been gifted, so thank you for that. And I'll see you next time, guys. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and once again, make sure you give Carol a subscribe. Thanks for having me, Will. No worries. Cheers, bud. <laughs>